What's going on gang, Justin here, and today we're gonna to be talking all about vehicle lift safety. It's no secret that an automotive lift is a great asset to have when working on your daily driver or project car. But just like any tool, it's very important to know how to use it properly. So we're gonna be giving you all some lift safety tips to ensure you get the most out of your lift. But before we get to it, make sure to like and subscribe to the Summit Racing YouTube channel and punch that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, regardless of what type of lift you have, step one is always to familiarize yourself with your lift controls and read those instructions. So once you get your lift installed, sit down and read the instructions that came with your lift. Not only will it tell you how to operate your lift properly, but the owner's manual will give you essential safety procedures to follow before you even roll your vehicle over to the lift pads. Better yet, it'll give you all the maintenance requirements too, which will ensure your lift has a long, happy service life in your garage or shop. Long story short, read the owner's manual first. There's a ton of good info inside it that'll show you how to operate this thing and maintain your lift. The other thing to do is to familiarize yourself with your lift controls. In other words, find out exactly where the important features are, like the lift button, the lock release, the arm locks, and the power shutoff are. Next, whether it's brand new or new to you, you're gonna wanna closely inspect your lift before you go any further. More importantly, remember to inspect your lift before and after every use. All the time, every time. It should go without saying that you should never operate your lift if it malfunctions or is broken in any way. Check the lift arm and adapters for damage, corrosion, cracks, and other issues. Then inspect your hydraulic lines and fittings for leaks or anything that looks out of the normal. It's also good practice to run your lift up and down empty too to make sure the thing is properly operating before you lift a vehicle. Now that you know that your lift is ready to use, it's time to get a vehicle on there and get it up in the air. For starters, you'll need to verify that the vehicle's weight does not exceed your lift's capacity. Once you've confirmed that your lift can handle your vehicle's specific weight, the next thing is setting up the lift arms on the lift points tailored precisely for every vehicle you're working on. Every vehicle has suggested lift points and locations and it's very, very important to use them. Not only will this prevent damage to the vehicle, but it's downright essential to keeping the vehicle safely stabilized once it's off the ground. Oftentimes a quick search on the internet will reveal them. Or failing at that, we like to use the lift point guide from the ALI, the American Lift Institute, to determine the proper lift points. See the link below that we have to the ALI guide. It's also important to use the proper lift adapters for the job. There's a few different styles available from each manufacturer of the lifts, so make sure you have the ones that are best suited for your specific vehicle. Now with the arms set at the proper lift points, it's time to get this vehicle up in the air and head to the sky. But before we do that, we need to do the shake test first, and here's what we mean. Take the lift above the first set of safety locks and set it on the locks and walk to the front and the back of the vehicle, shaking it slightly as you go. If it's not obvious, the vehicle should feel secure and not tippy or unbalanced. If you're not sure or you're uncomfortable with it or you feel like it might tip, take the vehicle back to the ground immediately and readjust the vehicle. Repeat this process until the vehicle feels secure. Do not, and we repeat, do not take any chances under an improperly lifted vehicle. Now that the vehicle is secure on the lift, only raise the vehicle high enough to perform the work that you need. Once the vehicle's at the desired height, use a set of lift stands on each end of the vehicle to further secure it. Lift stands are really, really important because as you add or remove parts during the job, the vehicle's weight distribution changes, which may cause the vehicle to become unsettled. After the work is complete, clean up under the vehicle, making sure everything from the job is clear. Remove the lift stands, then raise the lift off the locks and slowly lower the vehicle back to the ground. There's a few things to be mindful about as well when using your lift. First of all, never overload it. Stick strictly to the lift's maximum weight rating. Second, use all the lift arms at once. Don't use just a pair of arms like a jack or for any other job that the lift arms aren't designed for. 
Finally, resist the urge to modify your lift. Keeping it stock and unmodified is the only way to ensure it'll continue to operate as intended and within the safety threshold set at the factory. With this in mind, a lift can prove to be one of the most useful tools in your garage. So until next time, make sure you're getting the most out of your lift and that you're doing it safely. I'm Justin with Summit Racing, and the golden question is, is what are you working on?